brought to you by wonderful Florida oranges and grapefruit. Fresh, fresh frozen concentrate, canned full strength, and chilled orange juice. All with the natural vitamin C you need every day. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now, one of the brilliant young actors of the American theater, Mr. Ben Gazzara. On my left, one of the foremost columnists in our country, and most importantly, a charming lady, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And it's always a pleasure to have with us a wonderful game player and a wonderful husband, Arlene Martin Gable. Oh. <laughs> Just back from Hawaii, refreshed and ready to confuse us, Mr. John Charles Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's My Line. Welcome to Ben Gazzara. Nice to have you back with us. Thank you, John. And uh, I might say this is probably a good time to say thank you to Mr. Gable for being such a fine and staunch member of our panel. Then by it's way surf. of dismissing me, John. Beg your pardon? By way of dismissing me. No, not by way of dismissing you. <laughs> Bennett Cerf will be back next week, but Martin has been like a great rock for all of us to lean upon in the interval. <laughs> and that is probably the last kind word I'll say tonight, <laughs> because we're going to be up to our old tricks, and we'll also have a famous mystery guest before <laughs> the panel a little bit later in the show. We'll meet our first challenger after this word from Florida Citrus. And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Page. Whiteman, right? <laughs> I shouldn't even have to ask this question. Is it Miss or Mrs.? It's Miss. You'd said Mrs., I'd have fallen right forward on my face. I did say that's a very fine handwriting, good, strong. Oh, one want to compliment you on it. Where are you from? Riverton, Wyoming. Riverton, Wyoming. Oh, how nice. I don't think we've had anybody from Wyoming in a long time. May I present the panel, Miss Whiteman? How do you do? Would you join me over here, please? Tell me, Miss Whiteman, are you familiar with the way your score is kept upon this program? Yes, I am. Then that's just the audience who've been joined us in the theater, and the folks who are looking in at home know exactly what your line is. All right. Panel, we will tell you that Miss Whiteman is salaried, and we'll begin the general questioning with um, Martin Gable. Miss Whiteman, Wyoming is a great outdoor state. Is your work uh, in any way, what do, would you call it outdoor work? Sometimes, yes. Um, there are many big ranches out there. Have you anything to do with a ranch? In a way. Uh, do you work for a, uh, a ranch owner? No. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, do animals come in contact with you in your work? Yes. Are the animals domestic animals? No. Well, now, Ava, we must have a small well. conference. Oh. Oh. Yes, they are. <laughs> John just domesticated them. Good. <laughs> are they four-legged animals? Yes. Could you sit on one? <laughs> yes. Uh, does one often sit on one? Sometimes, yes. Uh, would that rule out, then, cows, bulls, sheep? 
If you are speaking specifically about the animals upon which one might sit, <laughs> except in those extremities of uh, rodeo, rodeo activity, yes. why, we would be willing to rule them out, wouldn't we? Yes, I think so. Do you have something to do in, in the training of this animal? Yes. In the training of the animal? Tra well, did you say training? I might have said trading. Depends on what Miss Whiteman heard. <laughs> ah, don't say a word. The trading of these animals. I'll take a chance. Be honorable. <laughs> Be honorable it, no. in television? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing, we had a dinner in Washington last night. I, I must share this with you. And Ted Koop of CBS, you know, actually he's the head of their news operation, was doing the preliminaries to the program for the Radio Television Correspondents Association. And he said it would be nice if we could have the old days when a plug was a horse, <laughs> and a rig was the cart that he dragged, <laughs> and Harris was a tweed. Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. I'm with him. Now, do you want another chance, Miss Francis, or do you want to ride with what you said a moment ago? I just want to say, what did she say? does Miss Whiteman have anything to do with animals in a trading sense? Yes, I do. Sneaky, aren't you, John? <laughs> uh, are these animals horses? Sometimes. <laughs> you work with a variety of animals, then? Pardon? You work with a variety of animals, Miss Reitman? Yes. Reitman? You do. Uh, however, your experience is not in the circus, is it? It is not in the circus. No, no, it is not in the circus. Yes, it is not in the circus. Yes, it is not no. in the circus. Um, would you have anything to do with a zoo? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Gazzard. All righty. Well, is there anything, uh, uh, when you trade these animals, are they uh, traded in order to be um, uh, consumed? Sometimes. You wouldn't do that to a little old hog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the other animal, Martin. Right. On. Not our horses, never. Uh, now, is there is there uh, 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 beef uh, and uh, uh, cattle connected with uh, what you do? Yes. Yes, yeah, she handles cattle, and there's some beefing about it, I suppose. Yeah. Oh. Beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get him home fast. Uh, what does she do? She trades. Uh, uh, in this trading, is, are you, are you, uh, 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 do you trade cat, do you trade these animals for other types of animals? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Anybody want to swap a cow for a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Whiteman, do you either buy or sell animals? Yes. Is money exchange rather than goods? Yes. Well, do you buy and sell? No. Four down and six to go, Martin Gable. Are you a horse trader, ma'am? <laughs> no. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Well, if she trades horses, she's a horse. No? You're, you're in the barter business, are you? Am I in the what? The barter. For money, just for money. Hmm? It was elicited that money changed hands, yes. But Do you work with, uh, with butchers? No. Please, Miss Francis. Six <laughs> down and four to go, Mr. Gazzara. Well, this is funny because you're, you're there, just forgetting a term. Yeah. yeah, you're there and you're forgetting a term of reference and you're going in the wrong direction. I see. Is there? Do, you sell, do you sell these uh, animals to a specific organization? No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you sell at all? Yes. Do you sell animals? Yes. To a circus, maybe. No. Well, do we have to know what you sell it to? Is that part of it? Uh, do you sell more than one kind of four-legged animal? Do you sell no. livestock? You answered, asked about three questions there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Wyman, I've been away. She'll be a wonderful would you like, columnist. Would you like me to select one? Yes. yes. 
do you sell four-legged animals to anyone or anything? Yes. So what's the problem? <laughs> uh, are we trying to determine, perhaps I should ask this of John, are we trying to determine something narrower than merely a seller of animals? We are gathered here solely for the purpose <laughs> of finding out what Miss Whiteman's line is. Yes, I, and I gathered that as I entered the theater, she John. She breeds horses, John. Huh? She's a she farmer. breeder? A, a, a what? A trauma? A farmer. A farmer. A breeder? No, I want to fill the... It's just funny because you've got it at the end of your tongue. She's an auctioneer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not only that, you went to the Reese School of Auctioneering, and they have a livestock auction every week. What and does it sound like? Would she like? give us do a taste? Uh, I one. was going to add. You, would, would, you, would you just, you know, give us an yeah. idea of how you do it? Well, yeah. Just suppose I'm about 350, you know, red-faced Hereford. I'm red-faced anyway. And sell me. Now, go ahead. I'm a Hereford. Red -faced what? A white-faced Hereford. I just fainted. Oh, okay. <laughs> 350 pounds. Well. Pure muscle. No, <laughs> fat. <laughs> How much did you sell me for? I sold you for twenty-five dollars. A pound? A <laughs> hundred weight. Twenty-five dollars a hundred weight. Twenty-five dollars a hundred weight. That's fifty dollars, seventy-five dollars. No, I guess uh, you did well by me. There'd be a lot of takers for you, John. About $125? Thank you, ma'am. That's awful nice of you. Nice of you to come see us and watch my life. give you about 98 on that, but you certainly <laughs> struck out on the last two points. Let's see what we can do with the second challenger. Would you come in and sign in, please? Right there. E. V. Hades, right? Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Mrs. Hades? Mrs. Hades, where yes. are you from? Salome, Arizona. Salome, Arizona? Right. Oh, this is Western night in, in, <laughs> on What's My Line, is it? May I present the panel, please? How do you do? Would you join me over here? Thank you. Mrs. Hades, do you know uh, how we keep score? Yes, I think so. All right, then we'll tell the folks here in the theater and the audience at home exactly what your line is. tell you that Mrs. Hades is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Francis. Well, Mrs. Hades, you're a very distinguished-looking woman. Thank you. Uh, you uh, do you have a formal education for what you do? Is a formal education necessary for what you do? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Gazzara. Uh, do you deal in a product? Yes. Could I use this product? I think so. Under certain circumstances. <laughs> I mean, you would have to want to. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but would this product uh, enhance uh, my, uh, let us say, my... Uh, Beauty. Uh, no, yes, that's... Uh, yes. <laughs> would it, by any chance, enhance my appearance? No. No. No, no I don't think so. Two down and eight to go, Miss <laughs> Kilgallen. Uh, Mrs. Hades, could a woman use this product, too? Uh, if she wanted to. Some might, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, could I hold this product in both my hands? Yes. Could I hold it in one hand? Yes. Is it solid rather than liquid? Is it solid rather than liquid? Yes. Is it consumed? No. Well, I think here we... I don't mean eaten. I mean consumed eventually. No, no, but I, I was going to say, in the term of reference here, is it in the process of, of being used, oh, yes. used up? Yes, it is consumed. Uh, if one had one of these products that you deal with, uh, would it ever be found in the home? It shouldn't be. 
I would say we'd have to say no to that. It might be, but it's, as, as Miss Hader said, it certainly shouldn't be. Mr. Gable? Does this product grow? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Is there anything dangerous about this product? Yes. So that it should be only found out of doors, really? Yes. Well, Is yes, that where I it's most no. useful? That's where it's most useful, right. Is uh, gunpowder in any way associated with this product? No. Uh, with your permission, yes. I, since it's put in any way associated yes. with, we will give you a yes, because I think it would be unfair to, to give you a flat no. And the one thing you don't want to be is unfair every never time. Want to, I <laughs> never, want to be, <laughs> never want to be unfair. Is, um, uh, does this product have anything to do in any way with guns or ammunition? No. No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Gazzaro. I'll take a wild uh, guess at something. Does this product have anything to do with hunting? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, does this product ever cause a noise? Yes, very much so. Is there something explosive about it? Yes. Is it dynamite? Yes. Or anything akin to dynamite? Yes. Do you make dynamite? No. <laughs> well, actually, Again, I'm going to throw them all over anyway. Miss Hayden says she does make it, but she sells it basically, but it's her own company. Now, if anybody wants to have a little dynamite sent for breakfast in the morning, just let me know. <laughs> but you win all the way, because I think actually, technically speaking, she sells it, although it's her company that makes it. She high causes explosive. it to be made, is that it? Causes it to be made, that's right. It's high explosive. By her right. intrepidity and pioneer spirit. So you wouldn't have it in the home. <laughs> it's the E.B. Hayden's company. Not unless I were company. planning something that I'm not planning. We live pretty wild in New York. Better not, Doris. I hope your relatives all heard that, Dorothy. That's all I've got to say. Quarter pound dynamite for breakfast. Thank you. Miss Hades, thank you very much. Thank it was you an very interesting much. occupation. Thank you. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity for which my friends on the panel all, as you know, blindfold themselves. Blindfolds in place, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery guest, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you a star of the entertainment world? Yes. Mr. Gable? Are you a woman? Yes. Miss Francis? Are you best known for your work in pictures? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Gazzara. In uh, the world of music? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Uh, are you a pop singer? Um, yes. Mr. Gable? Uh, do you sing popular songs? Miss <laughs> 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 Francis? If you don't get your voice back, you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> are you big in the jukebox set? Sometimes, which I think is a very good answer. Mr. Gazzara. Did you ever sing with a big orchestra? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Uh, is your latest album a wonderful album with a Latin beat? Si. Mr. Gable? What? Si. Si was there. Oh. Mr. Oh. Gable? Are you now, well, Dorothy, if you know who it is, speak up. Peggy Lee. <laughs> Why, we'd have been able to lose you and lose Arlene and lose Ben. <laughs> well, Ben is hip. And you ought to see, Peggy, show them how you say yes when you're disguising your voice. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, a baby who's just had a wonderful, wonderful 
splash bottle. of cold milk. <laughs> bottle, I guess. Miss Peggy's in New York, as I think everybody knows. She's going to do a, a big party. It's, it's terrible. Actually, the name of the party is the Revlon Party, but if I said that, it's on this network, and this network would criticize me for plugging. Well, you know, there you are. No, we but went... it, it isn't a party anymore. Oh, it isn't a party. No, no. What, do you, it's what is the Revlon formal? Review. Revlon. Ah, so mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. You and do five of them, though. Mm -hmm. Miss Peggy yeah, Lee John, I think, is one of those rare artists who is not only widely admired by the public, but by her fellow professionals. She's a great artist. Uh, She's a singer, singer. That's it. A singer, singer. An actor, singer too. <laughs> that actor is particular. I like what? you too. Well, I must say, it's a fine accolade, Martin's accolade. I she is say, true, because I have followed Miss Peggy into theaters, and stagehands love you, and this is the greatest test of all time, I think, stagehands oh love my. you. Oh, my, thank you. So, well, thank you for coming to see us. I'm sorry that uh, Dorothy, uh, you know, but you know, I, I can't. I know. Uh, now that you know that I'm here, did you come down and see me at Basin Street? I will, honey. And I thought you were in California. John said, we all know she's here for the Revlon show. I didn't know it. I last saw her in California. Please. And I've been playing that album so much that I ought to recognize any little yes, even. <laughs> thank you. This can be Thursday sure. night, isn't it? Huh? Yes. Thursday night's uh -huh. five Thursday nights. Yes. Ah, wonderful. Well, thank you for coming to see us. You're welcome. Wonderful guest. <laughs> You finished up a bit strong there, panel, so I'll say you've done rather well tonight. Congratulations, and we'll all be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. And it's been nice to have you with us again, Ben Gazzara, and good Thank night to Arlene Francis. Good night, John. Good night, Ben. Good night, Come Arlene. back. Thank you. Good night, Dorothy. Good night, Ben. Come back. Good night, Howard Hertel. See you tomorrow in L.A. Ooh. Good night, Martin. <laughs> good night, Dorothy. John, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Martin, <laughs> once again, it's nice to have you. And Bennett Cerf, who has been loafing, well, he loafs most of the time, but he's been loafing in a different place down in Jamaica. We'll be back with us next week, and welcome. We will find him, I'm sure. Very fine. I'm sure he'll be fine, too. And so, good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line? What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Todman. <laughs>